So question four says, suppose the x-intercepts of the graph of f of x are seven and eight. What are the x-intercepts of the function y equals f of x minus three? So remember, if you had f of x equals x plus h, that's going to be a horizontal left. If we have f of x minus h, that's going to be a horizontal right. So remember, inside, you have to kind of think backwards. So if you see a plus, you're actually going left. If you see a minus, you're actually going to the right. So see how we have this minus 3 here? That means this graph actually went to the right 3. So that means these x-intercepts both have to go right 3. So 7 plus 3 is going to be 10. 8 plus 3 is going to be 11. So my, my, my new x-intercepts should be a 10 and 11. So 10 and 11 would be my new x-intercept because they have to all shift to the right as well.